Dear Black America, there are a few things that have been on my mind lately, so I'm writing this letter in the hopes that this video will spark a larger conversation on Black American culture and how I personally believe plays a significant role in the degradation of the Black experience. That being said, I have some observations that I'd like to share with all of you. Black America, you want Black people to succeed, but will encourage victimhood over perseverance. You don't want to be viewed as a criminal, but will gladly turn one into a martyr. You say Black folks are not a monolith, yet you'll ostracize those who don't think like you, vote like you, or live their life like you. You say you want diversity and representation, but are intolerant to political diversity and political representation. You say Black lives matter, but what you really mean is only the Black lives who agree with me matter. You say listen to Black voices, but only if those Black voices vote Democrat. You'll declare that celebrities like Ice Cube and Lil Wayne are being used as political pawns, yet Cardi B and Offset are not. Speaking about Cardi B, she makes a song about wet and that's considered female empowerment, yet Candace Owens, who preaches self-accountability, makes her a sellout? You're fed up with the harmful stereotypes that Black Americans have, yet refuse to acknowledge how much of a role you've had in creating those same stereotypes. Your music encourages gang violence and drug use. Your media makes a mockery of Black people for the sake of entertainment. Your vocabulary is self-deprecating instead of empowering. Your mindset on what is Black discourages growth by guilting those who refuse to be boxed in. You say you want racism to end, but will openly be racist towards others because you've convinced yourself that your circumstances give you a free pass to do so. You talk about Black empowerment, but will use difference of opinion to justify calling another Black person a coon or a house nigger. You talk about setting Black people up for success, but will lower the bar with affirmative action. You talk about being kings and queens, but will push for bullshit programs like critical race theory that reaffirms white people will always have an advantage over you, thus crippling your self-confidence, destroying your self-worth, and brainwashing black youth to believe that there will always be a cap on their success. How can anyone persevere in this type of environment? You say black people are being exterminated, but refuse to acknowledge the astronomical rates at which black men are killing each other. You would rather focus on how an officer reacted rather than the choices someone made to put themselves in that position to begin with. Instead of encouraging self-ownership, you make excuses for every aspect of someone's life. Blacks are poor, have less resources, or lack the education to succeed, you say. But you'll completely discredit the many black immigrants who continue to succeed in this country despite having less favorable circumstances than you. Is racism truly the driving force behind inequality? Or is it the lack of self-ownership, the lack of resilience, and the lack of perseverance? The world is a terrible place, and we both know that racism is never going away. But is adopting victimhood really the solution to all of life's problems? I know that I'll be accused of having self-hatred or being anti-Black because I'm pointing out the flaws within our culture. But on the contrary, I believe what I'm saying is a form of love. Anything of value needs to be maintained, and maintenance involves addressing the areas that need to be improved. Would you rather someone smile while lying to your face, or would you rather hear the truth despite how much it hurts? The first step towards fixing a problem is to acknowledge that there is, in fact, a problem. So, Black America, how do we fix this?